Why hail. I'm Tony, this is SV Tapatia, and as you may well know, this is the, the video record of the build of a of a cruising sailboat, 32 foot uh, cruising sailboat, which started from the from the very beginnings, lofting the lines up to the, the hull construction, then pulling her out of the shed. Um, keels on, we're masts are built, engines in, runs, we're, we're very very close to being finished and as those of you who follow will know that for <laughs> rather too long I've been working on the, the rudder fittings and uh, getting ready to hang the rudder and, and now you'll see that we're very very close to achieving that but unfortunately this week I need to start off with uh, a bit of news that uh, shook our world um, there was no video last week so, which was for this reason um, so we will get to some boat building but I'm going to start off with this and I've, I say this to start with I haven't included this bit of news in the in the video title I didn't want to make a any kind of you know attraction out of it shocking news stuff um, but here we go anyhow I'll talk about it now um, you you might remember that you regular viewers if you can think back to episode 197 and I doubt many of you will know instantly what was in 197. Uh, my wife Karin um, talked about her cancer. Um, she had breast cancer, was operated on um, a bit later, I think two years later it came back, had a second operation. Well last August we discovered, or learnt that it come back again. Uh, she went into hospital, had a third operation. And unfortunately, the news after that was that it had spread to a couple of organs, to her lungs, and to her, particularly her liver, significantly. And uh, it was inoperable, the liver. And uh, so, the long and short of this is that, that Tuesday before last, the 6th of December, she uh, passed away. Uh, due to the liver element of that. It happened here at home, so she was surrounded by me and, and the kids and uh, a load of love. And that was, you know, as good as it could be really. It wasn't good in any way, shape or form. And that changes some things, you know, in that video 197, she talks about going sailing and sadly that hasn't happened. But, if you can go on with a butt cheerfully after that, which is impossible. Um, I say it's shaking us deeply. Um, however, the boat build will go on. I will finish this boat, I will launch it, I will sail it, and we'll see what comes. Um, yeah, that's basically what I've got to say about that. Let's have a look at some boat building. Well, as you might tell, it's also been fairly cold the last while. Couple of weeks, it's been permanent permafrost. <laughs> you know, it's uh, minus 10 degrees C at night, and and coming up to yeah, close to zero middays or you know, warmest part of the day. So too cold to do anything with epoxy. Certainly, metal work is pretty chilly on the hands, and uh, but we've got a bit done. And I started off. These are the the two fittings for the aft end of the boat that will, that will fit to the boat and started off by polishing those up installing the bushes permanently rooming them out so that they're a lovely sliding fit on our on our shaft here and so that element is all now finished and, and ready to actually fit to the boat um, and after that was a case of, of getting on with the, the lower bearing Good. One. Oh, 
through there. Let's try our luck here. Beautiful. Well, that's worked really well. That's worked really well, hasn't it? Just want to go in there just a little bit further. Ah, now we're now we're getting close, aren't we? Now we're getting close. Yeah, like that. That's good. That's good. That's good.
So now we're going out to 8 millimetres, which is the alternative tapping size for 3H UNF, UNC, sorry, 3H UNC. So I could see it there. Bottom, all the way down the tap as well, that's really good. I've just bought this quick change tool post set for the mini lathe and uh, about to see how it fits. Hopefully it's going to go on there nicely. Right, that's going to go on there like that. That goes down in there I do declare. Some kind of cam piece isn't it? Like that. Yeah, that all goes down there. Yeah, pretty straightforward, really, isn't it? Right, that slides onto there like that. That still slides to and fro, okay? It does. We like that. We like that. It's a really good fit in there.
Dankeschön. Right, so in theory we should see that That is really lovely. So then, if I can talk you through what's going on here, I've just taken these two screws out, and obviously they're a bit long at the moment, they need to be shortened, I hope that's clear. They will be shortened. I'm get them out of the way, and then we've got the lower bush, which will fit into the keel, and, that, and the pin. And that's a beautiful sliding fit on that pin, as you can tell. The pin is a lovely sliding fit into the upper bush. That will be fitted into the keel. And uh, I'll be able to put the rudder in position and then slide the pin up through from the bottom and into the rudder and then put the two screws in to locate it all. So that's the, that's the theory behind it all. And straightforward enough. And if I pop this one out, you'll see that I turned up a little disc of bronze there, put a little interior or inside rebate on that so that, that fits in and I just simply epoxied it in and I poured a bit of epoxy into the hole so it sealed that hole where I used the, the, the center um, on it. So it's all sealed in there. The idea is that this will be epoxied in position so to completely seal it so no water can get into there seal around the screws of course and then uh, the rest of it's straightforward enough really isn't it and i'm really pleased with it it's come out very well indeed those uh rings on the pin the screws locate in and it's a beautiful fit i've used a, a bearing bronze for the pin and these are regular bronze. Um, clearly the pin will not rotate in the upper fitting so there should be nowhere at all in the upper fitting, should never need to change that. The pin can be changed if need be and the lower bearing fitting might possibly wear although 
not very quickly, I strongly suspect. And that's our system. And that's it for this week. Uh, thank you for watching. As ever, massive thank you to our supporters on Patreon. Um, yeah, you guys are fantastic. Uh, next week, well, often many years or several years, I haven't put out a, a video Christmas week. Next week is, is Karen's funeral, so uh, probably won't be a video next week. I'll be back the week after. Um, and uh, I say thank you for watching. We will be back. New Year is coming, launch is approaching. See you soon. Bye bye. Thank you.